Good happy Friday, August 2nd, 2019. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. First up, Concord Police investigating attempted murder on Market Lane. Latest series crime in Concord in the last week, including two deadly stabbings. Let's take a listen to that video from WMUR News 9. Customers will call in or email in and just tell us that I was at the store and from the beginning of the sale till the delivery, it was a great experience. And as a business owner, that's what we strive for. Visit us at powellstone.com. Concord police say this surveillance picture shows a person of interest in an attempted homicide and armed robbery. The man entering the apartments at 5 Market Lane just before officers responded to reports of a woman who had been shot at and assaulted at 5.40 a.m. Several males were in one of the apartment units uh, with the female. Uh, a firearms were produced um, and a shot was fired that uh, nearly struck the uh, female and the suspects then fled the, the building. Investigators say if the bullet had hit the woman, it could have been devastating. She was taken to a hospital with minor injuries and is expected to recover. Police also believe neighbors were at risk as well. It's uh, families in transition. It's uh, females, uh, women, and children. There's a lot of children in adjoining apartments. Um, and the potential for a serious injury was, was great. This is the latest serious crime in Concord in the last week that includes two deadly stabbings. Lieutenant Ford calls it all taxing and the busiest time in his 25-year career. We've really uh, uh, tested our resources to the max, and we're in a situation where we, we're, we're, we're making it through. We have an excellent relationship with the New Hampshire State Police um, on a day-to-day -day basis anyway. Um, those relationships have paid off uh, tenfold in the last couple of weeks because it's just been... It's been nothing short of a nightmare. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Lewandowski confirms he's very seriously considering 2020 U.S. Senate run. Let's take a listen to that video from WMUR News 9. We feel that if a customer wants their product and they're ambitious and they want to do it today, if we have it here in stock, we have the people in the truck in the wipe it off till tomorrow what you can do today. Visit us at powellstone.com. And Corey, where is Corey? Does Corey he was the campaign ground? manager who put Donald Trump on the path to the White House. Now, Corey Lewandowski says he is seriously considering a run for office of his own to take on Senator Gene Shaheen in 2020. WMUR political reporter John DeStaso broke the story and says Lewandowski's connection to Trump would make him the instant GOP frontrunner. The theme of this primary will be who can be the closest to, to Trump, and that was going, going to be a contest. But if Corey Lewandowski gets into the race, there is no contest along those lines. On Close Up last December, we asked Lewandowski if he'd ever consider running against Shaheen. I have a fairly good national profile. I've had the privilege to write a couple nice books, and people support me as I travel. Um, but I think the role of an elected official is best for somebody else. And um, as long as the president is in office, I'm going to help support him. And an about face on a campaign is nothing new in politics, and it's possible President Trump himself is encouraging Lewandowski to run. Greg Moore of Americans for Prosperity, who has worked for Lewandowski and Bill O'Brien, the former House Speaker who declared his Senate candidacy last week, says all of this interest in taking on Senator Shaheen is a good sign for Republicans. This is, this is a, a really talented field of people looking to run for this seat. And again, 
Senator Shaheen is, is clearly viewed as vulnerable by those folks. For those wondering if President Trump himself is in on this, nothing is confirmed yet. But multiple sources tell us Lewandowski is traveling with the president to a rally in Ohio tonight. And of course, there will be another big rally here in Manchester in just two weeks. Live in the studio, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. RFK's granddaughter dead after apparent overdose in Hyannis Port home. Let's take a listen to that video from WCBB Boston. And that is helicopter video from the home. The granddaughter of Robert F. Kennedy was pronounced dead at a Cape Cod hospital Thursday after being found unresponsive at the home at the Kennedy compound. Man crashes moped into parked boat dies. Let's take a listen to that video from WMTW News 8 Maine. about shipbuilding careers at Bath Iron Works? Wonder what great opportunities exist for you? Police say 20-year-old Jerry Garcia Jr. of Saco died from injuries he sustained in the crash. This morning, neighbors are just trying to make sense of this tragedy. People have been putting candles and flowers at the spot on High Street where police believe Garcia hit a parked trailer and boat. He was taken to Maine Medical Center where he was pronounced dead. Police are reconstructing the scene. The crash happened around 5.30 yesterday evening on this busy residential street. Off camera, neighbors describe the traumatic scene, several people jumping in to try and help Garcia. Police say he was not wearing a helmet. The moped was coming up to an intersection when it appears he lost control and he crashed into the back end of a, uh, a boat and trailer that was parked there. Now police say their work continues in their investigation and as you can imagine, this tight-knit community will be mourning through the week. In Saco, Kathleen Jordan, WMTW News 8. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Dow features slightly lower after Trump's $300 billion China tariff threat. U.S. stock indexes were slightly lower Friday morning after President Donald Trump said he would slap an additional 10% tariff on China's imports for next month. Arizona man arrested at Elizabeth Warren event after clash with Trump supporters. Let's take a look at that video from... ABC News. The best of Amy Poehler. Experience the entertainment you love on X1. Access Netflix, Prime Video, YouTube, and more.
card, all with the sound of your voice. Click call or visit a store today. Sorry about that, we have the wrong video for you. That is not the video we want. We're very sorry about that. A man was arrested Thursday night outside of a crowded town hall event with 2020 presidential candidate Elizabeth Warren after he allegedly got into a dispute with members of a local group that support President Donald Trump. And that did it for this Friday edition of the Riley King Newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I'll have a news report coming up in a little bit. Goodbye everyone.